How is this even possible with a deadline of 2030? Egypt is 95% desert. In northern Egypt's coastal town, Al Amain, they're trying to carve out a new modern city in the middle of the desert to be Egypt's summer capital. But why? We decided to first check out old Al Amain for clues. It's a bustling town, crowded, noisy, but probably less appealing to ambitious young people. Locals have been relocated to Cairo and Alexandria for better economic opportunities. Nevertheless, the town's Mediterranean coast has a great deal to offer. This is what Alamein has to offer the beautiful Mediterranean on Egypt's northern coast. It's a shame that not many people have it on their travel wish list, but that could soon change. Tourist attractions are only one dimension of the future Alamein under design, a comprehensive urban center that could house 3 million people in 2030. We got a glimpse of its city center, where five high-rise apartment towers have been erected in the middle of the sprawling desert. Up close, the towers are being built by thousands of Egyptian and Chinese engineers and workers, a project undertaken by construction powerhouse China State Construction. At the landmark iconic tower, they add a new floor every seven to eight days. I'm now inside the iconic tower, one of the five high-rise apartment buildings currently under construction. These are the four towers in the distance there, and this could be somebody's living room. Look at the space with a floor to ceiling glass walls and check out this view. That's the Mediterranean Sea in the distance and there's going to be a lagoon right between the iconic tower and the four other towers. The company's locally hired employees are passionate about what they're building, saying it could look like the next Dubai, an exciting prospect included in Egypt's Vision 2030. A timeline we find rather challenging. As we drove back to the hotel, wondering what the future holds for Alamein, our driver suddenly put on some familiar Chinese tunes. Glorious Years by legendary Chinese band Beyond. Perhaps a not so subtle expression about his feelings for the new Alamein city.